Hi, welcome back to Nexus Core. I'm Richard, and I'm basically going to be showing you the Alt Mile Trial Deck Upgrade deck that I came up with that is a mostly budget based variant for new players that kind of want to jump into the game. Uh, it is unfortunate that players might be interested in starting Vanguard during this global pandemic and everything that's going on within this year, but I do believe that this. You know, it can be something that they can at least look at to maybe better their deck. You know, kind of working forward with how to play the op model deck in a kind of budgety range till the new support from next stage comes out. So this is a pre-next stage variant, but it is using cards that kind of can at least be a little consistent and more for geared towards newer players that want a little pick-me-up that can, you know, make the deck function a little better than just what the trial deck provided, so... Let's just jump right into it. So the starter is obviously going to be the one that came in the trial deck, Shiny Knight Milius. So when you ride on it, you draw a card. If your opponent's at grade one, you get your quick shield. That's implied with all the starters, but it's already written there for you. So gotta work with the Milius starter. So traditionally, I usually start with the grade threes and work my way down just so you kind of see how the deck is built. So that's what we're gonna do today. So. Starting with the Great Threes, it is Blue Sky Knight Alt Mile. So, trial deck card. It's the card the whole deck is basically focused around. You want to be on this on your Vanguard most of the game uh, because it's just really good and has really good early game skill. So, Van or Rear Guard Circle. Uh, if you have no face up cards in your damage zone, this gets 15k. So, it's really good because it's just a beat stick. You have a 28k beater. The other skill is Van uh, Act once per turn. Cow boss 1, discard a card from your hand. You search your deck for up to two grade 2 cards, reveal them, put them in your hand, shuffle your deck. So you cow boss, drop 1, you get a plus 2 basically. All your grade 2s are really good targets for resources, and it helps you thin out your deck for triggers. It's just an overall really, really good card, especially for a trial deck-based uh, card. It's really, really versatile, especially since there's a lot of past grade 2 support in Royal Paladin that Alt Mile can benefit off of. So it's the go-to grade three right off the bat. So if you were watching the unboxing video that I did, I did mention that the grade three that came in that trial deck is basically bad for the most part. So I just, these were the grade threes I decided would substitute its role. So for starters, I decided I would run two copies of Swordsman of the Explosive Flames Palamedes. So Palamedes skill, is van or rear when it's placed you soul charge so you, there are cards in this deck that soul blast so examples would obviously be livero or livara um that costs a soul blast if you don't have any face up damage and sometimes you might want to you know save soul or build up soul so you don't have to worry about that resource diminishing throughout the game so you can run two copies of it the other skill is also really cool because you have other cards that soul blast uh you can gain a power bonus off it. So the other skill is auto, van, or rear. When a card is put into the drop from your soul during your turn, it gets 5k power until the end of the turn. So Lavaro, Felix, uh, cards like Hengist that will soul blast, um, you're going to get bonuses off of those uh, just for paying their costs. So Palamides, I feel like, is a really good option. This is, again, a more budget option. There are way better grade 3s you can run, but I was trying to find something where you... Because, you know, you're going to be replacing these cards with the new Aerial Divine Knight Alt Mile that comes in next stage. So there's no point in investing in like a 7 to $10 grade 3 and buying multiple copies of it if you're just going to be replacing it once the new set comes out. So these, I figured, would be good temporary slots that were below the dollar range. So Palamedes is like a 40 cent card. You could probably pick it up from someone that just has extras sitting around somewhere. If not, you can just spend the 40 cents. Like, it's a good it's a good backup. Uh, definitely a lot better than the other grade three, in my opinion. That's just like an all-placed soul blast, call a grade two and draw. Like, you know, get like drawing cards is nice, but like you want to get some power in there too. So I think Palamedes makes up for that because you get resources and you're gaining power for the soul blasts. So Palamedes seemed like a good choice to me. So next up for grade threes, I decided that a really good ideal finisher would be Decorous Knight Hengist. So I figured that this would be a really good finisher because 
you are soul charging a lot, so you could soul charge more grade threes, and it just has a really good skill to make everything require your opponent to guard two or more. So the skill is auto, van only. When it attacks, you soul blast two grade threes. So you either have to ride two grade threes back to back, then this is the finisher, or maybe you soul charge a grade three somewhere during the game, and then you can go in this into this as your second grade three ride. So you call as many cards from your hand to the two rearguard circles when this attacks, and all the called units gain 10k. So that's already really great. And then continuing that, if you have three or more rear guards, your opponent would have to call two or more units from their hand at a time whenever they guard for the rest of the turn. So this basically makes PGing harder for your opponent because they have to waste more hand. Um, if you have like a really weak column, they still have to guard with extra cards, or you know, it just makes it, it does make it a little more difficult for your opponent. And I feel like this would be a, a really good finisher. It's the 10k that also really helps, so you're getting a lot of power off that. And it's not that hard to pull off, you know, if you are able to save it up. But again, this isn't like you have to finish with this. You can just stick with Alt Mile and just sit on that for the whole game. But as far as finding other grade threes to run, I feel like this would have been a really good choice as a finisher. So that's my personal opinion. You know, if you don't agree with it, it's fine. This card's like a 40 cent card as well, just like Palamedes. You can try it out for yourself and, you know, maybe you like it. The other reason it's really good is it's multi-attacking uh, for Royal Paladin. So you don't just have to do your van, rear, rear, and then you're done for the turn. You swing with your rear guards, swing with the van, you call two more front row rear guards. So you're getting off five attacks in the turn, and those last three attacks your opponent have to guard with two or more at a time. So this can be a really good finisher uh, for a budget deck like this. So uh, I would say try Hengus out in the meantime until we have Aerial Divine Knight out in the U.S. So next up for the deck, uh, it's going to be the Great Twos. And starting off, you have to run four copies of Absolute Blade Knight. Livero or Livarla, or however you want to pronounce it. So its skill is van or rear when it's placed from hand. You counterblast one, search up for up to one grade two, call it to an open rear guard circle, and shuffle your deck. If you have no face up cards in your damage, you can pay a soul blast for this card for this cost, meaning you pay for it instead. So you pay counterblast if you have it open, but if you use the counterblast, let's say, for either your other grade twos, for Alt Miles skill, uh, and you don't have any face up on purpose because you want that 15k bonus, uh, you play a Soul Blast instead and you fill up your board. Uh, you can do it early game. You just ride this and then just call another grade two and then you're filling up your board really easily. So Livero is a really, really, really great card. I think it's one of my favorite cards. I've mentioned this in the unboxing video. It's one of my favorite cards that Bushy has designed just because of how versatile it is that it gives you an either or option kind of thing going on where it's like if you can't do one here's another option so i really like that about this card so definitely want to run four copies of this next up for grade twos this is definitely not a quote-unquote budget card it is under a ten dollar card but it is pretty high up there uh it's uh you know four copies of high dog breeder akane so akane is about seven dollars but this Definitely is a high priority. I think if you plan on really focusing on making a really, really good alt model deck, you definitely want to be picking up this card. It's from the first V series set, uh, VVT01. It's a triple R, so it's understandably hard to find. Um, but what it does is it is a it is a grade two that you can search with alt model. It calls out Pongo with a counter blast. Pongo gives you soul from its ability. And it becomes a 21k column with the Pongo and Akane put together. So it has all all that put together just makes it a really, really good card to work with Alt Mile. Because you use Alt Mile skill, you search this out. Call it, you search out Pongo. Pongo gives you a soul. You use two counter blasts this turn. You don't have any more. You can call Lavarlo as the other grade two that you search with Alt Mile. Call it. Use the soul blast from the Pongo that you got to call it another unit, another grade two just to, you know, maybe fill up your board so you can deck thin, you know? A Soul Blast just to pull a non-trigger out of your deck can be really helpful to help you find triggers during your turn. So I definitely think Akane is 
very has a lot of high value when it comes to building your alt mode deck. And I do think this card will be really good post next stage as well when you're building your alt mode deck. So I would recommend picking up this card for planning out your current alt mile and your future post next stage booster set build as well. So those are my two cents on why you should pick up a Kane. Uh, even though it's a $7 card a piece, so that's basically like 21 to 25 bucks for a play set, depending on where you find it. Not budget, but a lot of high value in there, so you might want to consider it. Uh, next up, I'm keeping the deck a little bit traditional since there weren't a lot of like great grade two options in the trial deck, so I decided to add in Blaster Blade. Uh, why add in Blaster Blade? Because cards like Enchant Enchantment Plucker, or Pluckin Enchanter, sorry, I <laughs> flipped it around, and cards like Knight of Truth Gordon, they don't require your Vanguard to be a specific thing, they just require like Blaster Blade to be on the board. And since you already have Alt Mile to search out Blaster Blade, that makes your life a lot easier. So we're running Pluck Enchanter, it's a little spoiler, I guess. So you're getting your Soul Charge and your Counter Charge Engine back as well. You're running Gordon, so that's a, that is a grade two that you can search, but it can be in the back row in the same column as that Blaster Blade. So that way you can work with that. It's a booster. The other thing you can run instead of Gordon, you can run Great Sage Baron if you just want to have a grade two on the board that works anywhere. But I decided that I wanted to work with Gordon just because it's a 15k booster if you think of it that way. So the other thing I really like about Blaster Blade is it's a really, really good ride target. So you have really you have three good ride targets in this deck. You have Lavarlo two on ride call a grade two. Akane works when it rides. Um, Blaster Blade works uh, as a vanguard when it has four rear guards for that extra crit. So you you can ride onto Blaster Blade, and then if you have Lavarlo in your hand, you can call that to search out Akane, and Akane can search out Pongol, and then you're just one card away from completing its skill, which means then you just swing with that extra crit, and that could be a lot of pressure for your opponent. So they might guard that grade two attack early, or you know make it one to pass. So it, it can be an important turn to help you push. And so not only just being a resource engine, Blaster Blade can be a pusher for your grade two turn. And on top of that, the Counter Blast Soul Blast you can work with because you want to be using up your Counter Blast. You have plenty of soul to use, so you can get rid of your opponent's regards pretty freely. Uh, if you feel like there's a, uh, a front row unit you know, on your opponent's board that's a threat, you can just place this, bop it, and then you know move on with the Grade 2 turn. So it's a really pretty versatile Grade 2. If you want to run something else, go for it. I just figured Blaster Blade were really good because of the resources that you can work with. So, I did mention Gordon, but I'm only running one copy of it. So, uh, I didn't think there would be a reason to have it in any other column other than the one column you'd be working with. Uh, I thought of it as a target for Lavarlo. So, if you have a Blast Blade on the board and you call Lavarlo and you want to call it Grade 2, you just call this behind the Blast Blade and then you have a column that can boost each other. So, you don't have to worry about wasting just a Grade 2 search for a Grade 2 that can't boost. You know, you can. You can get a grade 2 boost, and you can deck thin. Uh, if you, you know, use alt mile skill again, search out another Blaster Blade. Call it in front of the Gordon again. So you can keep working with that, and I just figured it would work out since we're running Blaster Blade anyway. So it gives Blaster Blade a boost, Blaster Blade, and it gives the Blaster Blade on your van or rear an additional 5. Doesn't matter where they are. So that's pretty cool. So, just the one copy of Gordon. Gordon is like, I want to say, a $2 card, something like that. It's pretty cheap, but not like a $0.40 cent card. So, that's something to keep an eye out for if you want to run it in this budget-ish budget, budget -ish variant deck. So, that was it for grade 2s. I am going to go into grade ones, so I'm just going to be running four copies of Lunar Crescent Knight Felix. Uh, it's the one that came in the trial deck, so is assuming you bought the trial deck, you have your four copies already, you're good to go. Felix is a really great card because it uses Soul Blast and it gives unit and it bounces cards back to your hand for more resources and it gains power. So Felix's skill is when it attacks or boosts, you choose one of your rear guards in another column, return it to your hand, and it gets 5k. 
So something that's really something really simple like that can be significant when you're, let's say, in another column you made an Akane Pongo column. You use the skill, maybe you bounce back the Pongo. So now you have a 10k shield in your hand that you can use for guarding. And then if you don't use it, you can call it to get more soul. And you know that's something that you can do to just to get this this extra 5k. Um, if maybe another example. Let's say the unit that is being that uh, Felix is boosting is Palamedes. So you Soul Blast to pay the cost, gets 5k. Palamedes goes off, it gets 5k because you paid a Soul Blast. So now this column just gained an additional 10,000 power. So that can be something that you can combo off as well. So these are all really simple, uh, kind of like introductory combinations you can do if you're new to the game and you're kind of figuring out how you want to play the deck out. This would be a really good combination you can do. Uh, for Felix, I would say it's really good just the fact that you're going to be getting a lot of soul, so you can use it continuously. And being able to bounce grade ones back to your hand, or even important grade twos you don't want to lose, can make a difference in how you're going to guard against your opponent. And that extra five can make a difference. Your opponent could be just 5k short of guarding an attack. So, really, really good card to come out of a trial deck. Alright, so next up for. Grade ones because we're running four copies of Akane, we're gonna be running four copies of Pongol. So Pongol is the search target for Akane, so um, just search it out when you call Akane, which you have to count blast. And Pongol's own skill is when it's placed, if there's another unit in the same column, you soul charge. If you soul charge a trigger, it gets 5k. So you know if you lose a trigger, but you get a little bit of power, so it could make up for it. Um, the important thing is that the skill works without Akane being on the board, so you can place it from your hand, soul charge, and that is your soul fodder that you might that you'll need for cards like Liverlo, Livero, and um, Blaster Blade. So that way you don't have to worry about continuously wasting oh and Felix, of course. So wasting all those soul blast costs within the turn, you don't have to worry about you know, your soul diminishing way too fast because if you can't re-ride consistently, that's something you might have to consider. So this is just about, you know, keeping your resources consistent. So you can just kind of let your deck go as freely as you need it to be. So if you're running Akane, you gotta run Pongo. Uh, next up, because we are running Blaster Blade, I am running two copies of Pluck Enchanter. So Pluck Enchanter's skill is once per turn. Uh, when your Blaster Blade is placed, you Soul Charge. And if there's no cards face up in your damage, you counter charge. So this is important because you might be in a situation where like you, I think it'd be easier to explain with, uh, if I had like the physical cards on me to show you what I'm talking about. So let's say for example, you want to, let's say, call Blaster Blade, and then you want to pay the counter blast cost to retire something, sure. Or maybe you want to use a counter blast for uh, something else on the field, like maybe a Kane, so you use a Kane first, and then you're at a counter blast, but now you need a counter charge so you can use um, Alt Miles skill. Or maybe you want to use Alt Miles skill first so you can search out a Kane so that you can call a Pongol. Well, if you have one counter blast to work with, you counter blast, use Alt Mile, you get your two grade twos, one being Blaster Blade, call your Blaster Blade. Because you have no face up card in your damage zone, you'd unflip one. Then you can use that counter blast you unflipped for Kane, call it, pull out Pongol. So this is more about like taking advantage of that extra one extra counter blast you can work with since you're constantly using up your counter blast to use Alt Miles skill anyways. So I figured there's not a lot of counter charge in Royal Paladin in general, so might as well take advantage of the fact that Pluck Enchanter is the most easiest way to do it. So you're gonna use up all those counter blasts, maybe you need one back, Pluck Enchanter is the way to go. Uh, I wouldn't run more than one because you don't get the you only get the unflip once, because if you unflip, like if you have another one you can't unflip again unless you pay Blaster Blade, then use the other one to unflip again. So the max you're going to need is two on the board at a time, but if you have the one on the board, it kind of just sits there and you don't have to worry about it. You can just call Blaster Blades over and over and over again. So I feel like the two copies of Pluck Enchanter work just fine. Uh, lastly, for grade ones, 
I really wasn't too sure what we could possibly run that was like within a budget range. I considered Little Sage Marin because it's like a $3 card, but once uh, Next Stage comes out, it's going to be immediately replaced. Like all, most of these grade ones are going to be immediately replaced by cards like Sicilis and um, there's another grade one I can't think of that's going to be replaced. But Or you might just run eight grade ones because there's, the deck is so grade two reliant. So I figured there'd be no point in investing in cards that you might not even run in your final build for alt miles. So I just threw in two copies of Night Squire Allen. So Night Squire Allen is an overall good card. It's early game. When it's placed, you counter blast. Call a card from your hand. And then if you call, if you did, you draw a card and this gets 3k. So the way I figured is maybe the way that, you know, this hypothetical situation runs is maybe you, let's say you rode Blaster Blade, right? And let's say you rode Blaster Blade and then you, um, you called Night Squire Allen. You only have one face up counter blast. You use Allen's skill to call Livero. So you counter blasted, you do did the 3k and the draw, but now you have no face up damage. So now you can use Livero skill instead of paying the counter blast, you can soul blast to search out a grade two. Maybe the grade two you want to search out is Gordon or something, you know? And then now this blast will get an extra 5k. You put another boost behind it, this swings for 23. You know, maybe if you put Thalix behind it, it swings for 28 with an extra quit crit. So these are things that can happen that you can do for an easy combination. So Allen works really well by, you know, using up those counter blasts, helps you draw cards. And it was the, basically the cheapest grade one I could think of that you could possibly just have on you as a budget build. Definitely way better than the other grade ones that came in the trial deck for the alt mile one, in my opinion. So I would say work with the two copies of Allen as the last grade ones in the deck. All right, now we're on to triggers. Uh, I also want to take a moment, you probably already noticed, I'm not running any order cards because, other than the quick shield, because I just don't think it's necessary. Like the one that came in the trial deck, while it would be good, Counter Blast 2 for 20k is a little heavy in general when you can just use all the resources for way better combinations. So I'm just not gonna run the, the order card that came in the trial deck. So the way I would say to do this is, I would say you're going to do 8 crit, 4 draw, 4 heal. And the way you're going to do it is you are going to be running the 4 uh, draw PGs, the flash heal assault. So you're going to run the 8 crits, you're probably going to get an 8th eighth, eighth flow goal, or uh, sorry, a 4th flow goal to make your 8th crit somewhere, because the trial deck only came with 7 crits. And this is the common one that came in the trial deck. I don't have other common ones. These are just my fold ones that I have from my other deck. But the main point I'm trying to say is this common uh, Assault PG is only like $3 on TCG Player. Just get it. If you're a budget player and you really need these draw PGs, I would say this is one of the first things you should invest in because the regular... Um, Grade one PGs, they just clog up room in your in your grade one lineup. If you really don't care about it, you can take out the Allens for the PGs, but this is just so much better. <laughs> you know, your your you know life. What's the word? You know, the quality of life that you're gonna experience when the in game play is gonna be much better having a draw trigger PG rather than running in grade one PGs. So definitely invest in these. They're like three bucks for the common ones that came right out of the trial deck. If you buy multiple trial decks, you get multiple PG, you get an additional PG. So definitely invest in these. And then lastly, you're running your four heals that you got out of the trial deck. Yes, I did pull this one. This is just to flex, obviously. So that was basically it for the deck list. So pretty typical combinations, like I mentioned before. You're gonna be doing things like you're gonna write alt mile. You're going to have a certain number of, of cards in your damage zone. Let's say you have two, because you, maybe you didn't use any early game. You can counter blast to search out car. Uh, you can search out boop doo like cards like Akane and Livero. You can search out these two. You call the Akane, you counter blast, 
you search out Pongle, since you have no face-up cards, you can call Lavarlo. Lavarlo skill, you can call a grade two, just to deck thin, and then, you know, these are combinations that you can do. Or instead of a Kane, maybe you decide to choose Blaster Blade, and then Blaster Blade is kind of blast to retire something. Lavarlo skill, you soul blast to search out your Gordon, and then you have a booster for your Blaster Blade. So, you know, these are just little things that you can do just to make up, you know, for the lack of counterblast. All Mall is going to be a 15k beater since you have no face of damage. And then you have cards like Felix, they're just going to Soul Blast, return cards like maybe you want to return the Blaster Blade back, maybe you want to turn the Revaro back so you can use it again the next turn. So try it out. But this is what I would assume would be like a really good budget introductory variant for players that are completely new to the game. And I hope you guys like the idea that I came up with. If you have any other ideas you want to, you know, insert comments, questions, um, go ahead. Um, this deck is probably going to be completely different when the next stage comes out. And maybe, just maybe, this is not for sure. I Because I still am deciding if I am for sure going to build the alt mile variant. But if I do decide to make a alt mile variant deck um i can show you guys what that will look like once that set comes out and you guys by then will see the big difference between what i just showed you and what the deck would be like then so that's basically it that was the deck i hope you guys like it and i will see you all in the next video if there is one <laughs> all right see you guys later